Hello YouTube and welcome to the first ever installment of a classic short run. We can't always be out there doing a long haul with our car road trip. So today we're going to do a short video. This video is going to be about installing a gas lens kit on my Prime Weld CT520D. So let's get at it. Hi, so if you're uh, watching this video, you probably already know what a gas lens kit does. Um, it gives you better gas coverage. So with your standard cup and uh, call it, the gas tends to be very turbulent coming out. With a gas lens, you'll see there's a screen this screen helps uh, keep a better flow coming out the tip so with that being said I bought a yes welder kit uh, for a WP 1718 or 26 torch this is a 17 torch that's all it says on the on the actual torch. Um, the only th info I could gather online is that a 17 torch just means the amperage rating, which I believe a 17 is good up to 150 amps. I'm not sure, but I think the Prime Weld CT520D can go up to 200 amps. So I don't know what would happen to this gun if I was constantly running at that. So let's uh, get at it. Um, it comes in this uh, little case where all the uh, drawers fall out. So I'm probably going to install it in a nice uh, metal case I have. Uh, I'll show you that later. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Um, before I do that, um, make sure what you're buying fits for your torch now you can see the threads on sorry i'll get you a gas lens you can see it's a pretty fine thread which i already tried it on this gun it's a direct fit very easy this here is a miller uh, I believe it's a lot like a CK and if you take the collet body out you can see and I'll compare those threads are much coarser than the yes welder kit that it came with so you want to make sure you get the right threads um, I know this happened to a buddy of ours over uh, on the YouTube half fast garage and he actually made an adapter that uh, screwed on to the other kit so he could adapt it to his, I think it was a CK torch. So hit him up. I'll try and leave a, uh, a link up in the corner to go over to his channel. Very cool stuff going on over there. So without further ado, let's uh, get at this. And I got to say, guys, uh, this is so easy it pretty much does itself. So I'm gonna bring you in closer and uh, show you that it's super simple. It's like 30 seconds. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna switch to a shorter back cap. You gotta put an insulator on. You have the collet, collet body. And you can either put a Pyrex gas lens or an alumina cup. I'll be putting the Pyrex gas lens for today. I usually run a 330 seconds tungsten, so that's what I'll be putting on today. And watch how fast this is. Alright, 
so it's as easy as that. Let's see if I can even edit this stuff. I don't know. So guys, keep that classic driving. Get out there, get it on the road, and we'll check you on the next one. Um, I'll take you out with a little uh, ferrule weld onto my headers with the gas lens, and I'll compare to the other ferrule that I didn't use uh, the gas lens. Check you later. All right, so here we are, we're all set up. I got my ferrule ready. This is a used ferrule. Usually there's more meat on it than that. I had to grind it down to get it uh, nice and flat again. So I'm gonna tack it on. Um, again, I don't have a way of back purging at the moment, so bear with me. We're gonna, uh, we're just gonna get her done. Let's go in for a closer look. Okay, so this is my weld with the gas lens. I'm still struggling uh, with consistency a little bit, but that's operator, not... Uh, This I haven't cleaned up at all. And now uh, let's go over, check out old identity yeah, crisis. Yeah, yeah. Other header. So this one here is without the gas lens. And I actually cleaned that one up. So. does it she gets it done I'm happy with it I guess we'll see you around all right check you later bye wait man why you always shut your door man what are you talking check about check you later check you later <laughs> hey man you off my case